Last lesson, we had a look at linear modeling. And the whole idea of linear modeling is that loads of things, loads of practical situations in real life can kind of be modeled, demonstrated using these linear graphs. Okay? Some, some graphs aren't quite enough though, as I'll show you in a second. I want you to remember this. Uh, in fact, those of you who just looked at your, um, at your task, remember we've got this big table and we work out how do you calculate youth allowance, okay? Now, I want to give you one particular example. Since uh, the people sitting in front of the room right now are... Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny how frequently that happens, actually. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Only a cherry bit. Um, now... <laughs> If you think about youth allowance, let's think about um, singles, under 18, living at home, unemployed. Okay, now you don't need to write that down. All I want to point out is, what's the basic idea? Okay, we know that up to a certain amount, I'll tell you what the amount is in a second, I don't expect you to remember it. Up to a certain amount, you get a full allowance. And so you might remember, it's $143, right? So if you are earning money, like just with a casual job, and if you earn $143 or less, you get the full allowance. Now from memory, I think that's $220.40, okay? Um, I just spend a lot of time looking at these numbers, okay? Now the interesting thing to me is what happens after this, right? So. All the way from zero to 143 dollars. That's how much money the government is giving me. But after I pass over that threshold, what happens? What did they do to this? Yeah, you get a partial allowance. They start to it reduces for 50 cents in the dollar. Sandy, do you have a question? Am I entitled to youth allowance as an individual or not? So the short answer is yes. However, in order to make things a bit simpler, one of the things they haven't talked about in the questions we've been looking at is that this is subject to what they call a parental income test. So because you guys are dependents, right? Like you're getting money, like you're being, like your where you live and the food you eat and the utility you expend, all that kind of thing is being paid for by someone else. So they will test to see, is your parents' income below a certain threshold? And then you would qualify, okay? The threshold's pretty low, I should add, um, until you start to become more independent. I think it's like 50,000. Correct, that's right. Now keep in mind, at the moment, you guys have like free education and all of these other subsidies like public transport, da 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 da. So that's why that's kind of built into that. Concessions, like I said, it's not free. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, like I said, you get a partial allowance after this, right? So up to now, if you if you're unemployed, not a student, I'm just gonna go because these numbers are a bit easier to work with. Um, it is 400 if you are a student, a full-time student, but if you're not, up to 250, you'll get a partial allowance, right? Now, what they do is they take, they start to make the um, allowance smaller and smaller and smaller by 50 cents in the dollar. So is that They reduce it by 50 cents in every dollar above that. Correct, that's right. So. $144, right? You're earning $144. They're going to take 50 cents off of this. $145, they're going to take a dollar off of that. And on and on and on. But after 250, they start to become a little more aggressive. They take more money off you, right? So after 250, uh, it's still a partial allowance, but 60 cents is removed per dollar, okay? Now the numbers are not what's important here. What's important to me is that for different parts here, different rules are kind of in operation, right? So you know how we looked at, oh, a linear model, and it just goes up, or it just goes down at whatever constant rate. But these are not constant rates. They're changing all the time, okay? And in fact, after, and I can't remember the number, I have it, I have it on this slide that I've had to show you in a minute. It's like 500 and something-ish. At a certain point, your partial allowance has gotten so low, you just don't get anything anymore, yeah. right? No allowance. Now, because different things are happening at different points, a simple straight line is not enough. In fact, you need something like this. Now, I want you to look carefully at this. Okay. Uh, I've tried to make it as thick as I can so that you can see what's going on. 
What's happening here, right? I want you to look at my two axes. Oh, I need to get rid of this. I haven't named my axes, but you could probably name them. Let me um. Have a look at my two axes. What do you think each one represents? Have a look at that vertical one. Look at the numbers. Okay, earnings are going to be one of them. Earnings is one of them, but it's not the vertical one, it's the horizontal one. So here are my earnings, right? Okay. So this is my earnings axis. Yeah, and this is the actual amount that the government's paying me. Okay, so you can see on the allowance axis, it starts up at that 220 and 40 cents figure, right? And it's just a horizontal line because everywhere underneath this amount of income, okay, in fact, I will even draw it on there. If you go draw your vertical line down, we've been doing this a lot, right? Have a look at my scale. You can just make out these faint lines in here. That way is halfway between not 200, there's 100. So that makes this one 150, and there's my 143, just a little bit before, okay? So at a, any number, any income before $143, I just keep on getting the full amount. So that's why it's just flat lines like that. Okay? But as soon as you hit that threshold, they start taking money off you. Right? So you can see it in red there. It's going at 50 cents in the dollar. After you pass over another threshold, and you can see as well, if you look, it's on that line there, 200, 250. There's that next threshold. right? And if you look carefully, you can see this blue line is just a little bit steeper than the red line. Do you notice it? It's steeper because of this. This number is steeper. Okay. Then lastly, what happens over here? What's this represent? You just stop. Yeah, they're not paying you anything anymore. Okay. So what we call this is a piecewise graph. You've got different pieces of the graph that are behaving in different ways. Okay. So I'm going to show you another one. This time I think I am going to need the lights. So. There we go. Okay, definitely lights. Okay, I'll zoom in in a second, but you've got the context. What's this telling you? These are, these are parking costs, right? Parking costs. Now, if I zoom in, it's not the greatest image, but you can still see enough, I think. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, this is an old photo. <laughs> no one's actually Shh. What's happening here? What's happening here? Um, the first three hours are free. So I guess if I would think of a horizontal axis, I'm thinking about time. Time is progressing, right? And vertically, I think, oh, well, how much do I have to pay? So in these first three hours, hour one, hour two, hour three, what does the graph look like? It's just flat. It's at zero, right? It's free. Actually, Adam, would you mind just grabbing a window as well? Thank you, man. Okay, uh, it's flat. What happens when you hit the first spot after three hours? You go flat, 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 and then, now interestingly, rather than the graph which we just saw, which kind of went down like that, okay, whoops, they're taking money off you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what you've got here is that there's a gap, right? You told me it's going to start at, new color, it's going to start at zero, 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 right? But then it doesn't go to like, you know, 30 cents or 50 cents or a dollar or anything in between. It just straight away, it goes up to, let's call that, two dollars, right? So there's like a jump and there's a break in the graph. But this represents, as soon as you go from here to here, they don't charge you a little bit towards the way of two dollars. They just go straight to two dollars. And then the next thing, what happens next? Um, they're doing it in... Um, half hour increments, aren't they? You can just barely see. So it's going to go up again, and then again, and again, and so on. Okay. Now because of the shape of this graph, that looks kind of like this, it looks like a set of stairs, right? They call this a step graph, because it literally looks like a set of steps. And when you think about it, these kinds of things, these kinds of things, they happen all the time, right? They often happen with money because it's simpler that way. Uh, welcome to Sydney, right? That's, um, does anyone know where World Square is? Does anyone know where World Square is? Oh, it's in the back. Is it near the 
perhaps? It is in the city. Uh, World Square is, um, it's on George Street. It's opposite the Broadway cinemas. Uh, you think that's bad? Uh, I went and found this article, which I found quite amusing. What? Um, and it looks like it's a prank, except it's not. Uh, if you, you can go ahead. You can go Google this, it's on news.com.au. Uh, it's because they're near the CBD area. So that's why they're charging so much. And you know, people would be using it and then like commuting to work or whatever. So that's why, again, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, just, just take my car, okay? Just leave it. So again, you, you see the steps, right? That different things are happening at different points.